This is Miss Batista. I'm here to teach you rounding strategies today. Have you ever heard the saying, zero to four, just ignore, five or more, go up one more? Usually it's used with a rounding roller coaster, which is also known as a rounding hill or hump. It looks kind of like a triangle. First you'll see the numbers one, two, three, and four on the left, and five, six, seven, eight, and nine on the right. You're told to round down if it's from zero to four, or up if it's from five to nine. Most students are taught to use place value to round, but they aren't sure why they're doing what they're doing. Let's look at a place value chart. When we look at the digits, the numbers to the left are bigger than the numbers to the right. Thousands are bigger than hundreds, which are bigger than tens and bigger than ones. Here's where kids get confused. They read a number line from left to right, and the numbers get bigger as you go to the right. But when you use a place value chart, you determine value from right to left. You can see as we move from ones to tens, they get bigger by powers of 10. Let's look at an example. Here I have six ones and six tens. Now, you might look at the sixes and think they're equal, but they're really not. Six ones looks like this, and six tens looks like this. Really, 60 equals 10 times six, so six tens is equal to 60 ones. Now let's go back to that rounding roller coaster and try to round 316 to the nearest 10. Uh-oh, which digit do I look at to round? Here's my suggestion. Start rounding with a hundreds chart. As you can see, I have numbers to the left labeled round down and numbers to the right round up. First, I'm going to round six to the nearest 10. I'll put a penny on six and two nickels on the nearest tens, which are zero and 10. Then I decide which 10 six is closest to. If I count from six to 10, I count seven, eight, nine, ten. It's four places. And if I count from zero to six, I count one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six places. So six rounds to ten instead of zero. Let's try rounding sixteen to the nearest ten. My first step is to put a penny on sixteen. Next, I'll put nickels on the zeroest tens, nearest tens, which are ten and twenty. Finally, I decide which ten sixteen is closest to. If I count, 16 is 17, 18, 19, 20, four spaces away from 20, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. A lot more spaces to get to 10. So I round 16 to 20. Let's try rounding with a number line. I'll use the same example. Round six to the nearest 10. First, I'll draw a number line. I have to find a starting point and an end point then mark my midpoint. I know the closest tens to six are zero and 10, and in the middle I have five. If I were to make all of my spaces, I would plot six right here. Did you notice it's to the right of the five? Yes, it's past the midpoint. That means it's closer to 10 than it is to zero. Let's try it again, adding two digits. Round 16 to the nearest 10. Do you see how the starting point, midpoint, and end point changed from 10, 15, and 20? So let's see. I'll plot 16, and I decide 16 is closer to 20 than it is to 10. One more example. We're rounding 16 to the nearest 10. Did you notice that 216 is closer to 220 than it is to 210? Great job. Are you ready for a rounding challenge? We're going to be rounding to the nearest 10 and 100. You're going to put these numbers in the correct places in the chart. 453, 442, 437, 452, and 445. The nearest tens that you'll be rounding to are on the top. It's 440 and 450. The nearest hundreds you will be rounding to are 400 and 500. You may want to pause the video for a second or use my hint. First, I need to use my common sense. If the number is in the top left box, it will round to 440 and 400. 
If it's in the top right box, it will round to 400 and 450. The bottom left box will be numbers that round to 440 and 500. And finally, the bottom right box will be numbers that round to 450 and 500. Think you're ready? Remember, use the strategies you learned. Draw a number line or use a hundred chart. Here come the answers. Pause if you're not ready. Let's try challenge number two. Rounding to the nearest 10 and 100 again. This time, I have given you the numbers, but I won't give you any hints about what goes in each box. Pause the video now and give it a try. Did you notice I tricked you? Yes, 984 does not round to 990 and 900, 900 and 1000, 990 and 1000, or 1000 and 1000. So I left it out of the chart. Are you ready for challenge number three? Here we go. Put these numbers in the correct places in the chart. Hint, you must figure out which hundreds and tens to put on the outside. Pause the video now to give it a shot. Here's your hint. Did you put 210 and 220 as the nearest tens you could round to? And 200 and 230 for the nearest hundreds? If not, give it a shot. Here are your answers. Tricked you again. 199 does not belong in the chart. Did you also notice that 210 and 230 do not have any numbers that round to each? You also do not have any numbers that round to both 220 and 300. Pause the video now. Stop and talk to a partner. Why do you think there are no numbers in this box? Challenge number four. Make your own problem. Give it to a friend to solve. Make sure to have an answer key so they can check to see if they're right. Challenge number five. Round the number 796 to the nearest 10. Well, you already know when you round it to the nearest 10, it's 800. Select all the statements that explain why this is true. Here are your choices. The digit in the tens place is greater than five. The digit in the ones place is greater than five. The digit in the hundreds place is greater than five. Since you're rounding up to up the nine in the tens place, the hundreds digit increases by one. And the closest multiple of 10 to 796 is also a multiple of 100. Do you think you have the answers? Pause the video now and check it out. Here they are. Are you ready for challenge number six? Create your own problem. Fill in the blanks. The number blank is rounded to the nearest place. And what is your answer? Select all statements that explain why this is true. Now it's time for a rounding review. Know your places. If you need, use a place value chart. Think about what you know about rounding to places. From 0 to 4, you go down, and 5 to 9, you go up. Use a hundred chart. Draw a number line. Thanks for watching.